had a role to play the gospel today has a definite mandate to serve God expects something of the gospel praise the Lord Jesus to impact the world to change the world to heal the world to save the world in as much as it is you that preaches it are you hearing me the success of it is not of you it is of the Holy Ghost the entire heaven is sure you can't fail them why the Spirit of God looks at you and he's sure you can't fail to prophesy because he beholds the grace that labors if he says you are an apostle you understand what I'm saying he's aligning your conscience to the working of his hand to guarantee the evidence that you are an apostle so what do I do what do I do I rejoice in it I take confidence in it I become bold in it He says, it is now the intent of God. Mm, mm. You see? Mm. That by, by us, this mystery might be mm. made known mm. unto principalities and powers. Oh. Ephesians 3.10, in fact. Mm. He says, to the intent that now, unto the principalities and powers in heavenly places, mm. might be known by the church the manifold, manifold wisdom, wisdom of God. God. Which wisdom again is the son? Is the son of God. Salvation. So there is no way you are going to claim the equation mm. of the angelics perfectly synchronizing mm. with your life mm -hmm. and your space, space if you do not have the attracting factor. You see, and, and we, we judge by the word, we discern by the word. Mm -hmm. The moment you see, no, men of God look at people who say, An angel told me I saw an angel, I dreamt an angel, my angel, my angel, my angel. I'm telling you the truth. Many times, those people, many times, those people have a problem mm -hmm. sitting under a teacher of the word, mm -hmm. or if they do sit under a teacher of the word, they want to instruct. On how to be taught those people children of God don't study the word same with them that say I visited heaven I visited heaven I died I saw God I saw Jesus Wow. Yes, men of God. <laughs> <laughs> you. And, yes. And, yes and, and, and you see, it's the same thing that uh, uh, David says in Psalms 91. Yeah. Mm. That he gives angels charge over you. My God. That again, uh -huh. you may not stumble uh -huh. your feet against the ground upon the rock. Meaning that again, their charge is into the same line. Mm. <laughs> that is As, so so powerful because because you see be, because you see again 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 did you the, notice he again, said your feet you, <laughs> again the gospel uh -huh. again again it brings it, it, it will it will it, it will cause you to to bring you back into into what exactly do you receive as communication when you claim an angel visited me <laughs> because to us uh -huh. the word the word has already given us a standard to yes. expect to hear from you yes mm -hmm. so once you stumble off what the scripture is saying uh -huh. we know that is not the angel of God. exactly because many people will put an illusion of a visitation of the angelics uh -huh. and then they are relating it to everything else except except the son of the God. son of God and to me that is close of conversation. That is another spirit that, that cannot be the angel of God because again, he's your feet, the preparation of the gospel Yes. to keep you in the way. He also says how beautiful are the, are the feet, are the feet, feet. of them that bring the good news. Yes. Absolutely. So, 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 so 
foundational again going back uh-huh. our yardstick our center of measurement mm. is the word <clears throat> is the word anything that be falls out of that to us is no conversation i i, I was i was telling a, fr- a few friends of mine the other day that 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 you see even even when by the spirit you claim to be led it is not an experience that is out of this world because again we will see events like the like have been happening in in in, in even our neighboring countries mm-hmm. that, that a man will wake up and say let's go to the mountain uh, put your body in 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 the grave and you will see jesus why because i am claiming mm-hmm. i am being led by the spirit mm-hmm. so by standard even just like you have shared yes that this spirit is to cause you to minister the gospel yes and by that standard then the angels are desiring to look at that pattern because the pattern is your ministry of the gospel now is inspired by the spirit because you cannot separate the word from the spirit actually yes. there is cannot be any way yeah that can be contradiction yeah. meaning that if you come out to claim uh-huh. that i'm being led by the spirit we have a yardstick. We have a yardstick. Is the word of God. Is the word of God. So if it does not relate to it, <clears throat> mm. then you are saying everything but air mm-hmm. and wind. And wind, yes. So to you, the word of God is not just an experience. It is a life to be aligned with even the events that are happening around you. Because, man of God, there are many people that are sitting under a teaching that is diversionary that is lifeless that is nothing to do but a claim that that the spirit is leading me yes and they cannot put a finger to how true that is why because the word is lacking in them true. and that is their measurement of how true am i hearing true. that is why i think paul paul is is wise when he mentions them that had the gospel but did not mix it with faith mm. and it did not profit True. Because again faith the author and the finisher is Jesus meaning that when the gospel is coming to me I am receiving it by the understanding of the son for it to profit me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That if the son is not well settled in me receiving the gospel is actually nothing. Yeah. Because what makes the gospel the gospel is the son. Is the son. Of so the definition of what you are saying to me, if I cannot relate it with the son, it cannot be profitable. That's right. Also, let's even put That's it right. this way. That's right. You know what what Jesus said about mm. the Holy Spirit? He yes. says that when the Holy Spirit is mm. yes, he will not speak of anything himself. of himself. Yes. You see but he will take that which is of the father yes and will present it to you he will show it and he will you. show it to you yes actually prophet mm. alpha said yes the holy spirit receives revelation yeah and to me that was powerful <laughs> yeah receives from god and yes. yes yes so you imagine yes. claiming a leading by the spirit <laughs> yes who, who, uh, whose foundation oh Oh. is not in that which he <laughs> testifies of okay, like brother. in other words you are trying to make him a rebel, a rebel. <laughs> you are presenting him as a terrorist because what we see about you mm. is everything else except mm. that which he has not received instruction to, to give you yeah what is of the father yes. and of the son mm. is what he shows you mm. he has no will of his own. own so how will he guide you mm. in contradiction to what is of the father mm. and of the son that's powerful he says <laughs> he shall not speak of himself of himself then he puts the semicolon he says but whatsoever he shall hear Yes, what he will hear, hear. that's revelation. He <laughs> says that he shall speak. And he will, will show you things, things to, come. to come. My God. He will not speak of himself. 
another portion talks about how he will take that which is of the father yes and I'll show it you. to you yes again mentioning guiding mm. you into mm. all truth all mm. truth which truth again is is the son is the son yes so it is important that we 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 are not going to have deception if people understand this that's true apostle we are not going to have deception that's true because if you claim a hearing mm. from god mm. what is the basis of your hearing there's a big problem if out of all you say you have heard we don't hear anything connected to the son of god uh, that that that's oh. powerful then then that that means that is how you know now he is the spirit of truth yes okay. because already god has given you yes a standard yeah. a standard yes yeah. so now you can tell a spirit that is not of god exactly yeah. exactly the spirit of god will always emphasize the son of god yeah it explains why the angels have to look into the things on the earth why because we have the holy spirit <laughs> and no man can know the father hmm. except by the spirit except by the son yes. and no man can know the son except by the spirit by the spirit i'm imagining yes i'm imagining an angel mm, mm. receiving revelation from you my god and he runs back to heaven to worship son you no braka <laughs> that is so powerful that means we have an impact even in the heavens but, but, but i was i want us to 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 go back to where we have we have been you know you have taught so much on this yeah and and for me every time i study it yeah it looks like it's so fresh every other time yeah, yeah. galatians chapter 3 yeah <laughs> yeah when you study the book of galatians chapter 3 yes in the nlt bible yes it's so amazing mm. the bible says Let me ask you this one question from yes. verses 1. Yes. From verses 1. Yes. From verses 1. Wow. He says, oh, "Foolish Galatians, yes. Who has cast an evil spell on you? On you. For the meaning of Jesus Christ's death. Wow. The meaning, the meaning, the meaning, not just the death. No. But the, the meaning, meaning. the meaning of Jesus Christ's death was made clear to you as if you had seen a picture of the of his death on the cross that man should have told yeah told his heart yeah yeah it was the meaning by the time you you teach and men go past words and they are able to visualize in real time Jesus dead on the cross the, that man told he told and again for me it mm. emphasizes where Paul is coming from yeah Paul lived in the days when Jesus died Jesus was there he was there. <laughs> when Paul was there <laughs> yes yeah. you see yeah. actually after the death of Jesus that's when he he begins uproaring to yes. to persecute the church the church to persecute the way mm. and you know the the antagonism that existed between this ideology in Paul yes sir against the Christ of God yes is proven in how even when Jesus was there mm-hmm. there is no account that says that Paul came closer that's, 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 that was going to be he was so deeply rooted that he did not even mind about going to where the son of god the son was. of god was he, because he says he never saw him he never <laughs> he never saw him and yet the son of god was there was there actually by the time jesus leaves this world jesus was at most <laughs> about 7 to 8 years older than paul mm-hmm. in the flesh Yes, sir. <laughs> at most mm. 
seven to eight, eight years, years older than Paul, Paul in the flesh. That means Paul was grown. Mm. Yeah. He was mature. Yeah. Yes. But to see that this is the man <laughs> who is talking about the meaning of Jesus Christ's death on the cross. Wow. To me, it, it is a marvel. Mm. Yeah. It's a marvel. It's a deep wonder. Yeah. It's a deep wonder. And when you study downwards, mm. he's emphasizing how that that picture yes. or that meaning mm. was able mm. to usher the church of Galatia yes. into the experiences of the spirit. Yes. One without which they could not have encountered the spirit. How were they able to experience the Holy Spirit? How were they able to receive the Spirit? By simply making the meaning, meaning making the death, death of, of Jesus Christ on the cross, on the cross meaningful, meaningful, give meaning to the to death. Me. He says, I ask you again, <laughs> does, look at verses 3, look at verses 3, oh, glory to God. look at verses 3, he says, how foolish can you be after starting your Christian lives in the spirit? Why are you now going to become perfect by your own human effort? You remember Philippians? Yes. Three? Yes. Where he talks about they are you yes. or his human we effort. We are truly circumcised because we rely on what Christ, Christ has done. done not our human effort and that makes us true worshipers true worshipers so he's now emphasizing he says are you now exalting your human effort because if you take oh, away no, christ that is so powerful <laughs> you just said are you now exalting your human effort and this is what the spirit whispered yes, to me human human effort ceases yes when the meaning mm. of christ has been made clear that is so powerful. Do you know that's the same thing that I was going to say? I was going to say, take away Jesus Christ uh -huh. and you have your own effort. And to have your own effort is proof that there's no need for the Spirit. There's no need for the Spirit. But to put away your own effort means there is need now for the Holy Spirit. For the Holy Spirit. Which is the consequence yes. of the meaning, meaning of Christ is being made clear yeah. so let's put it this way i can hinder okay i can hinder your experience with the holy spirit i agree if i hinder your apprehension of the meaning of christ's death on the cross <laughs> <laughs> now now what yeah. you've just said is worth sowing a seed oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. That is life. You've just opened the door for someone. Yes, sir. You've just drawn a pattern for someone. And, and, and by the way, do you know that there are people who intentionally do that? Because again, they know once your human effort is, re is elevated, yes, you are going to solely depend on them. On them. They know once... Christ is removed. Yeah. And all you have de to depend on is your human effort. Yeah. Your human effort is going to send you to seek out after what I carry. Yes. Yeah. And you will depend on me. So there are men at the pulpit who are denying you the liberty into the message of the cross. Because it deletes your human. It actually sets you free. Yeah. Free from men. Yeah. And grieved unto Jesus. Yes. And now they know when I rob you of that, you're going to be elevated into your human effort. Uh -huh. And those are the men you are finding seeking after. Men. Actually, I, I believe that's what Paul meant yes. when he said rightly divide. Rightly divide. I, rightly. I think that's what he meant. Yes. Because what are you truly dividing? Dividing if it's not the meaning of his death because already let's assume you have bread yes sir and i told you divide it you're dealing with bread mm -hmm. yeah 
in the beginning was the, the word. word the word was with, with god. god and the word was god god so if we said because you see again it says we beheld <coughs> his glory, glory. Huh? as of the only begotten of the father full of grace and truth, truth. So when we say rightly divide the word mm. of truth, we are saying divide Christ. Divide Christ. We are saying divide, divide Christ. Christ. And this is the power. But it's, <laughs> so, sorry, it's okay. it is strange. Yes, sir. How men are dividing Christ, Christ. and they are coming out with teachings on curses. <laughs> they divided Christ. They broke bread and came out with cassava. I, I, I thank God that you said uh, yeah, yeah. they are dividing. Yes. But the Bible says yes. rightly, rightly divide. divide. Mm. It's one thing to divide. <laughs> but are you rightly dividing? So, so it is important to also understand the outcome. Yes. yes. Because you can claim to divide Christ. But when uh, you you are giving us the second heaven, uh, so what what literally are you dividing? That should not be Christ. Yes, we gave you bread. Mm. We, we gave you Christ. We uh, we said divide. Yeah. You understand? And you gave us <laughs> literally meaning you had your cassava somewhere. Uh, you. You masqueraded in our bread. But that is supernatural also. <laughs> How bread becomes cassava in a moment. Uh, <laughs> I'm sort of. I'm imagining. Oh, oh my yes. God. I'm imagining. Uh, <laughs> only communion at cassava. <laughs> Just shows up. But, but, the, but that's what oh, is yeah. happening. Yeah, I'm telling you. That's uh, what is it's happening. It's laughable, but it's so painful. <laughs> It is so painful. You you are you are the altar of communion. <laughs> and it's 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 actually not blood. <laughs> it's not blood. Uh, <laughs> God help. Oh, God I help. believe this 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 is this is how the Holy Spirit <laughs> it's sad really. I can't I don't I can't even say he laughs me. <laughs> it is really, really sad. It's really we, sad. They gave you Christ to divide. <laughs> And you saw 12 types of demons in the one who is seated far <laughs> above principality. <laughs> How? Uh, How? How did you see? How do you trust that? And the danger is, it is the lives of men that are at stake. Exactly. Because we also have to emphasize that the meaning of his death mm. has something to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Men's healing is tagged to that. Just right there. Men's freedom is tagged to that. It, 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 men's freedom is tagged to that. Yeah. So to emphasize something else is to deny men that experience of liberty. And, and not just their freedom and healing yeah but they are worship they are worship they are worship they are service to god because there's a kind of conscience that cannot serve god they can't to truly serve him he speaks of a conscience that must firstly be purged, purged. you see but the renewing of that conscience begins with getting the meaning mm. Of Christ. of Christ. Now that's the word. The word. So when we say I am going to teach the word, or I am going to preach the word, or I am a teacher of the word, mm -hmm. you are literally saying you give meaning mm. to the works of Christ. Of Christ. Yes. You give meaning to the works of Christ. No wonder, not even Jesus could change the men on their way to Emmaus, Emmaus. if he did not just teach. Of himself that expound on it. Absolutely. Absolutely. All they needed. God in the flesh. God in the flesh. God in the flesh. Had to expound.
account to transform men. Do you know that God in the flesh can appear and you don't recognize him? And it is also important to note yes. that even when you recognize him in the flesh, uh -huh. he doesn't want to be around. Exactly. The Bible says when they recognized that he was the one, he went, he disappeared. To show you that he was not interested in them recognizing him. Uh -huh. He was interested in them understanding the word, the word about him. him. Oh, His death. Because again, oh, if they had recognized, they would have built a doctrine mm -hmm. on the experience. Yeah. And yet there was already a doctrine yeah, that, is that had true. given them purpose. purpose. The purpose was to teach Christ, mm -hmm. not to talk their experience with Christ. Yeah. It's possible for him to appear oh, and you don't. That is why that is powerful. people who are interested in revelation empowerment mm -hmm. should sit under those that give meaning to the works of Christ. Mm -hmm. Because when he is expounded to you, then your eyes will open, open. To, 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 a, to see a multiple him experience but that doesn't mean that when you don't sit under a teacher of the word mm. and you are sitting under you know contradictory mm. doctrines mm. it doesn't mean you will not see you will see mm -hmm. but you will not see what god wants you, you to, see. to see because there are levels in seeing there are different levels of consecration that allow us to see. see. But the highest level of consecration must give you the vision of the sun. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But that's not the vision of the sun for you to testify of the experience. Mm -hmm. It's a vision of the sun to confirm the word. You see? Yes, the, the highest level of consecration is in the place where Christ is expounded. When you enter that space, children of God, let me tell you, listen to this, everybody. And, and I have to say this. Yes. There is a degree of consecration that does not leave Adam. Mm -hmm. Even in his fallen nature, mm -hmm. he can still hear God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he can still see God. Mm -hmm. That is why our grandfathers who were drunkards would tell you don't take this route and it is clear they were not witches they were not consulting with witch doctors yeah. mm. don't take this route and you take it and something happens mm. and it tells you why did you take it haven't you seen drunkards predict things and they happen Sorry. does that mean God was working through them it's just the thing with man Man is a spirit. Mm. Mm. That consecration has been given to them. But the highest consecration that will distinguish your revelation experience from the ordinary mm. consecration mm. that allows them to see is when the meaning of Christ <laughs> is, made is when the meaning of Christ is expounded to you. It's that place where you Oh, glory to God. So humbling. Glory to God. You're eating of this tree to the end that you might know as God has desired for you to know. Thank you for tuning in. To partner with us or for any other information, reach us through the details available on the screen. Christ Life Ministries International, Christ to Influence.